Hi, this is Hank Hanegraaff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplugged Short. Today I want to focus on a, a letter that my, my sister Joby sends to those who are friends and family praying for her as she goes through the arduous journey of cancer treatment. Joby writes, I sit in my chemo chair, graced by his presence. During my many sleepless nights, Psalm 139 has been my favorite psalm. It is as if this psalm itself is, well, a spiritual birth certificate. It summarizes very succinctly what we can expect as we travel from the start of life to its very end. It is also rather daunting to know that in each day, in each night, God's holy eyes continue to search me and he knows me in whatever I do and whatever I think. Twice the psalmist writes about God's searching eyes, beaming laser like into my very form, the form that he himself has created. My heart will be under his holy microscope for as long as he gives me life. This is a comforting psalm giving to each one of us many promises, but it is also a reminder of how I have failed him forgetting that he is always watching. How often I have brought sorrow to his holy, righteous, all-seeing eyes, brought sorrow in things that I have said, thought, done, and failed to do. As I surrender myself to the all-seeing laser beams of the CT machine, the CAT scan machine, my praying lips utter in angst the words, but Lord, you are hemming me in from behind and before. You cradle me like an infant in the womb of the scanner. Even here you lay your comforting right hand upon me. Try me again in your grace as I, as I undergo these painful trials of life. May I continue to learn of you and to know your thoughts. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Not by, by earthly, cold, heartless machines, but by your, your righteous, holy, sinless, all-seeing eyes. Purify me. Forgive me. Enshroud my sinning heart with your with your saving, immeasurable grace in Christ. And when your book reveals that my preordained days are over, then stop my beating heart. Close my eyes in death. Close my eyes in death with your, with your gentle, holy hand. Allow me to wake up in your holy presence where I will be forever with you and where I will be led into the ultimate way that is everlasting. I look forward to that, Joby. As I read Joby's brilliant words, I am reminded that God is gracious. In fact, if I recall correctly, Joby denotatively in the Dutch language actually means that God is gracious. And so when she writes about God's immeasurable grace, it fits well with who she is, who she always has been as a child who loves 
not only her earthly father, but her heavenly father. She's a great inspiration, a great example, a great role model for me. She's one year older, and as I watch her go through the trial of pancreatic cancer, I think often of how much I am learning from her, how much I love her, and how grateful I am that she is a child of God. Search me, O God, and know my anxious thoughts. All the days ordained for me, written in your book, before even one of them came to be. So long for now.